Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and your weekly messages for the week of October 7th to October 14th, Sunday to Sunday. Um, first, I wanted to pull some tarot cards for the week coming up, and these flew out of the deck. I mean, they were out in two seconds. And just briefly looking at the cards, I haven't really gone through them yet, but it looks like what an empowering week and month that we are in. It's kind of more of the same of last week if you saw last week's reading, but things are really moving right along and a lot is happening this October. I mean, okay, let me start with the first card. This is a leap of faith, zero, Archangel Metatron, and this is the fool. So this is definitely a new beginning and a leap on faith. And you have all the tools you need. You're optimistic. You're going for it. It might be a new path, a new passion, something that you're starting. And it says, believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. So definitely go on your, you know, follow your heart. Go for your passions. Start that new path, whatever that might be. Take a leap of faith. Um, you're being pushed and you're in the place to start again start anew with something and definitely believe in yourself listen to your heart and go for it and then the next card I mean just an explanation point on that leap of faith again you have new beginnings which ended our reading last week and so we're starting with this so there possibly could have been a new beginning already that's happening and it says starting a new life Finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. Um, so you're well on your way of starting a whole new beginning. Um, so you've already probably taken that leap of faith and you're starting it. And so here's a fabulous new beginning. Keep going. And here we have the Knight of Raphael. And if this is you on the horse galloping and following your heart, you know, whatever is propelling you, it's almost like the horse is your heart, I want to say in this reading. And you're just galloping forward with that leap of faith, new beginnings. And the card says, you're romantic, dramatic, poetic, introspective. And it says, committed romantic relationships being swept off your feet, situations or topics that make your heart flutter. You're doing what you love. You're sending, you're, you did an act of faith. You started something. There are new beginnings here. And it's in sync with your heart. Just keep going. And the final crowning card, I mean, how amazing to get this, justice. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. So whatever leap of faith and new beginning you did and you're coming from the right place, your heart space, there's justice here. You're going to come out ahead. You're going to right any wrongs. Anything that hasn't moved forward or hasn't worked in the past, you're letting go. You're taking that leap of faith, doing something new, following your heart. And here, you're going to get your justice. Don't give up. So everything is going to be working out in your favor. What a fabulous reading. Let's see what else we can get. Let's see if we can get some empowerment. Let's get an empowerment card. Pull an empowerment card for this week, and then I'll also pull a self love. Maybe I'll get some spirit messages. I love it. After doing this reading, I feel like a new wave of energy. And as I tell you, I started off a little tired today this morning. I didn't get much sleep. And now, after seeing these cards, I'm like recharged. Oh, look at it. Let's see what kind of empowerment message for anybody. Week of 7 to the 14th next week what's a great empowerment card for us i just don't want to rush it i'm excited and i don't want to mess up what the card is intending to come i'll wait for the right card okay let me calm down <laughs> Ooh, oh two came out i'm gonna uh, you know honor that oh wow okay so the first one is elegance and in one of my monthly readings when I just did the self-empowerment cards this was an option to pull um, so elegance it is found in the beauty of nature the lotus waiting to bloom be the swan on the water and glide you are in your elegance you are in your element um, you're just gliding along in your full elegance whatever you've bloomed 
there's an elegance I can't even put it into words I hope you understand what I mean but you know you're that swan gliding on that water pure in your essence of elegance do you know what I mean um, so a leap of faith new beginnings following your heart there's justice here and there's an elegance in, in this and then look at this crowning card that came on top of it that made me pick it as well happiness Imma immense delight can be found in the smallest of things cultivate fluttering moments of joy and this is really in line with this he's like writing his heart that's how I like to look at this card um, such happy you're in your elegance and happy and there are new beginnings and there's justice in it and following your heart and doing what makes your heart soar this bird i feel is like oh she's writing her heart you know in happiness she's flying in delight um you know fabulous reading oh my gosh i'm almost let's see what kind of self-love we have for this reading so far, I absolutely love whatever is happening in this week coming up. I mean, we are in our element here. I think that's what the elegance of that swan card. We're just like in our element, you know, following our heart. We finally started, took a leap of faith, started things that mean more to us. There's justice, maybe what's going around, coming around. It's finally working in our favor. Um, you know, don't give up on whatever you're working on. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it's just real happiness is to be found in what you're doing right now. Okay, so what's the self-love for anyone who sees this for next week? What are we, what's the self-love message for us? Wow, I have to calm down because it looks like such a good week. Okay, cards, let us know. What's a self-love message for the week? Ooh, here we go. Oh my gosh, again, the acceptance. This must be an ongoing theme. Acceptance, the heart wants to give it all, but it's also okay to accept your limitations and accept help. Not everything is being asked of you. But I also take this as accepting really deep in your soul what you wanna do, what you wanna let go of, that kind of thing acceptance acceptance of yourself acceptance of you know what you want to do what you don't want to do what you want you know what you're going for what you're letting go of if you need any help don't be afraid to ask for it he, ooh. oh my goodness and here's another one heal some wounds need to be acknowledged before they can be completely healed allow yourself the time space and process necessary to find your wholeness again so definitely accept and heal and let go of what might get in the way of you achieving all this. Or, you, you know what I mean? Anything that's holding you back or maybe some things will come to light so that you can put it, really heal it so then you can move forward happier. It's almost like this healing is going underneath the happiness. So maybe you're healing parts of yourself that maybe would, would stop you before. Ooh or hinder your progress. And now it's not stopping you with that leap of faith and following your heart. Oh my goodness. And the last one, remember your purpose. And last week we had a lot of emphasis on purpose. So this again, in another card, in another way, in, the, in this week, it's saying to remember your purpose. Oh yeah, we have remember your spark last week. So here, remember your purpose. We came to learn about love. We came to learn how to love all that is, and this includes ourselves. With this love, self-mastery and conscious co-creation become possible. Heaven resides in your heart, now build it on earth. Love it. So whatever leap of faith you're going on, and whatever, you, whatever you're going for, and new beginnings, you're healing a lot, you're accepting a lot, you're following your happiness, it's not getting in the way anymore, you're remembering your purpose, and getting more in line with that, and that helps you be a better co-creator, as it says in the card, when you let go of anything else that potentially might have stopped you or slowed you down in the past. You're not allowing that to interfere. Oh my gosh, I love this reading. Let's see if we can get one card, and I'll just crown it with a guardian angel. I love getting these guardian angel messages. For them, looking down on this reading, what's a great guardian angel message for all of us for the week? of the 7th to the 14th, the Sunday. Ooh, okay, here we go. Inspiration. 
A wave of inspiration and a stream of beautiful ideas are about to enter your aura. It is important that you trust your intuition at this time. Pay attention to unusual thoughts that come to your mind and do not discount your imagination. Many wonderful ideas which have served humanity were initially scoffed at or ridiculed. We, your guardian angels, will help you discover ways to apply your ideas and manifest new realities for your life. So during these leap of faith, faiths, these new beginnings, finding your happiness, following your heart, getting that justice, letting go of the past, healing, um, acceptance, remembering your purpose and finding your happiness and going for it, you're going to be inspired. These guardian angels, they're on your side. They're going to give you the ideas. They're going to help you get in line, trust your intuition. They're going to help guide you through all of this. Trust it. Let go of what you need to. Don't let anything get in the way of following your heart and going for these new beginnings. You've come a really long way. You're really going to conquer a lot this month. And don't doubt yourself. That's a lot of what this card is stressing. And they're going to help you discover ways to apply what you're going to want to do along the way. So trust your intuition. Follow that inspiration. You're closely being guided. And with that, on the very bottom, it says, we'll help you discover ways to apply your ideas and manifest new realities. And this is basically all about creating new realities for your life. And they're saying they're there for you. What? A fabulous reading for the week of uh, October 7th to the 14th, Sunday to Sunday. And have a great week and check out my channel for other readings. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.